everyone. Hope you're all doing well. As promised, I am going to show you a new recipe that I that I make when I make my milkweed pots. We were up north for the weekend and we found some really nice ones and we picked only a few and uh, I just want to make sure everybody knows that when we're picking milkweed pods or the florets that we have to be very mindful and that we don't just go ahead and pick an abundance of it because that food is not just for us to enjoy but it is also for the monarch and the monarch it's the only food source they have so if we strip the stalks which I always say never take the stalk if you cut the stalks you're guaranteed not to have a plant grow that means no flowers no florets for you or the butterflies so you have to be very mindful guys and I can't stress that enough but I did pick a few and right now I have them boiling we want to boil them for at least three to five minutes just so we could get that milk out of the uh, the paws because the milk of the milkweed is not toxic to the caterpillars and the butterflies but mildly toxic for us our body is not going to be very happy if we ingest that milk so we will boil the pods and after it's been boiled we will make a dish for you to to try like I said if you're gonna go out and pick this stuff make sure that you don't just pick everything there so we're gonna start off with there we go a little bit of nutritional yeast depends how much you're making um, I'm not making a lot of these so I am not going to make an abundance of my egg wash. Uh, I'm using ground flax seeds and I'm using uh, a little bit of miso because miso really has a nice cheesy flavor. So we are going to use that. Why is my burner off? That's, they're never going to boil. Um, okay, so I'm going to get my miso. And I'm using a dark miso because that's all I have right now. I haven't had a chance. To go out and buy any white miso so I'm going to use my dark one to add some maybe there we go a little bit of miso now if you want these spicy what you could do is you could add some maybe uh, some chili flakes in this mixture or just leave it out and then add the heat later on but I'm just going to leave it the way it is so it's basically miso uh, nutritional yeast and ground flax and we're going to add some water and turn this into an egg wash there we go i never measure anything guys so i pretty much eyeball everything but basically you want this to become like a nice gooey thick mixture and you're going to be able to dip your pods in it once they've been boiled and then it goes into the flour and then we're going to fry these up in a cast iron pan or any kind of pan you have and we're going to make some fried milkweed pods for our dish so it's nice and thick if you want it less thick uh, you could add a little extra water it's really up to you the longer this sits though the longer it's going to get thick on you so you might need to add a little extra water so I'm gonna put this aside I will sprinkle a little bit of salt so what you do here is really up to you you could always sprinkle salt on top of them once they're done and meanwhile, I show you, oh, that's hot. I pan fried some polenta rings, and this is going to go underneath the pods. There we go. So, three to five minutes, that's what you want your pods to, uh, you want to boil them. And help get rid of the milk that's in the uh, the flower pots 
so yes three to five minutes for the pods as you can see the milk is coming out of them so you do want to boil them sorry three to five minutes to get everything out I have like another minute to go and those are done so I'm going to push this aside. I will add a little extra water there because it will get thicker on me. And I'm going to put the paws on here because I want to be able to drain the water out. Okay, like I said, I only have a few because I wanted to show you, but I will rinse these out in cold water. I'll be right back. Okay, so we want to kind of get the water out of them. Otherwise, they're going to squirt everywhere. And we get rid of the water that we boil them in because that's no longer good. We just want to get some of the water out. Okay. See how thick that is? We want to just dilute it just a little bit. And if I have a little extra, it doesn't matter because I might throw a vegetable or two in there and fry those up too. But for now, just to show you, we're going to take them and we're going to put them in there. There we go. Make sure you get the water out. I'm going to lower my... I have a little bit of oil, which I'm going to show you, in a cast iron pan. And then we're going to drop them in there. And we're going to fry them on both sides, guys. Okay. We're done with the... Okay. So you just want to coat them nicely. So now, it's really up to you if you want a single batter or if you want a double batter. So into the flour it goes. If you have to, you could put it back into the, um, you could put it back right into the uh, egg batter and you can re-coat them again. It really is up to you. Okay, yeah, we're good there. Let me get a fork. There we go. And if you don't use all your egg wash, you could put it in the fridge for another day and then tomorrow you can always batter something else. We try not to over batter because we try to stay away from all the frying, but once in a while it's just nice to have um, something special, right? A treat, I guess. There you go. There. You could also switch this up and maybe make a coconut, um, a coconut, um, uh, mixture. I'm just using plain old organic flour. My flour is always organic, guys. Now, I only have a few of these because, like I said, we really have to be mindful uh, when we're doing uh, stuff like this, when we're taking uh, food from nature because... It's not just there for us. I've had a few people come at me telling me, why are you taking food that should be for the monarch? Well, someone said to me, one, said on the, uh, under the video, uh, if people will start using this for food, uh, maybe they won't kill the plant because they consider it a weed. 
So, you know, today people just destroy it. So, for me, taking a few pods, I'm trying not to dirty my hands, guys. Uh, if you're mindful, it's not the end of the world. You'll have food for the butterflies. So, like I said, if you're mindful, we can share food with nature. And this weekend, oh my God, the amount of pods. But again, uh, there's going to be a video just before you see this recipe. You're going to see that we didn't just pick everything off the plant. Because that would be horrible. You know, it's the only food those caterpillars have. Okay, so I'm going to keep battering this and then I'm going to show you what this dish looks like. Now, if you don't have any pods, people say, why, uh, you know, why show me this recipe? I don't have any pods. Well, if you don't have pods, uh, you can use uh, any other kind of vegetable that you have. It could be zucchini. It doesn't have to be um, milkweed pods. It could be zucchini. It could be any kind of vegetable where you can make a little um, egg wash or eggless wash, a little bit of flour, and you could batter these up, or even zucchini flowers. This is great if you do the same thing with zucchini flowers. So I am going to throw these. Let me just wash my hands. Yeah, I lowered my oil. So I'm gonna... And since these are already cooked, they really don't take long to brown, guys. So I'm going to keep cooking these and uh, I'll set the plate with you later on and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, we have a little bit of my homemade sour cream and we're going to put a little bit of sriracha. We don't need that much of it. We're gonna give it a good shake. Mm -mm, this is gonna be good. There we go. How are we going to put these? Oh, I guess it's going to go like that. <laughs>
and there you go another beautiful dish from nature and very simple but the best part is guys very delicious and remember if you're gonna go out and pick these pods make sure that you're not the only one that's eating it that we have beautiful monarchs that depend on that plant so be very mindful pick only a few and leave the rest for nature and guess what guys i'm going to see you in my next video for more videos like this make sure to subscribe to connie's rawsome kitchen give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends